Oh my God, are you really gonna go do that with yourself and oh your body? Oh my God, are you really gonna do that to yourself and your body? Starve yourself, what's happening to you? Are you turning into an anorexic? Who do you think you are? You think you're like Jesus or something? These are kind of the hating ass things people will say when you first want to start fasting. But fortunately for me, I have people that don't give a damn about me. And even if people told me, you better not do that shit, I'd be like, I don't care. <sighs> but I actually have a lot of people say, maybe you shouldn't eat because you are a fat ass. But that's besides the point. If this is the first time clicking my video, hi, I'm Joe Jitsukawa. Welcome to my channel. And yes, I am going on a fast. For how long? I'm gonna try my first attempt to being 36 hours because that's what the Buddhist monks do. And I recently found out that I was actually Buddhist, but we'll get to that next time. But this time we're gonna talk about my fasted journey. A lot of you guys might be wondering, why do this to yourself? Well friends, this is my last resort to making sure that I can stay healthy and good by the time I'm an old geezer because I am no longer that young boy that you first met on YouTube. No, this is not 2008, baby. This is 2021 and I'm a fat ass 30 60 year old and hopefully by doing something like this I can inspire others to oh please don't do the same thing because I don't want you to die and come after me anyways what was I saying yes so fasting isn't a new thing it's been around for a long time but my philosophy has always been just eat more but just burn more baby I would work out twice a day I would do cardio I like to break a good sweat I burn a lot of calories unfortunately these things do not work out very well for me if I consume more than I burn and yes I love food over the years I turned from this skinny good-looking young man to this chubbier dude to now now this guy, uh, me, I, I think I look a lot better now, but I can't get rid of this bloat. Look, I'll show you guys. I don't know why I look like a baby, dude. Hold on, I gotta take off my shirt for this. As I was saying, okay, from this point up, I feel like really freaking good. But this point down, I feel like E.T. is pregnant. I have taco babies, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of this bloat. All right, real talk, man. This might get a little emotional. You wanna sit down for this one. Cue the sad music. Earlier in 2020, I had a fucking eczema outbreak. Look at these pictures, man. From my neck to my freaking wrist, everything was covered. And I was like, oh my God, is this like hemorrhoiditis or something? So I've been dealing with eczema all my life. I remember being a little kid and I was like, no one's gonna wanna fucking marry me because I look like a reptile with these scales and shit. Fast forward to the future, I just had have a little bit right here so hell yeah I was able to get laid because I didn't gross no girls out I just had to work on my personality is all but what ended up happening I ate a little bit of bad food see I'm allergic to dairy these allergies or or whatever I was sensitive to they disappeared from my system and when I ate these things again right out I had a whole volcano explosion all over my skin and one morning I was scratching my arm and just flared up like crazy I had to go take a hot ass shower to burn my skin off thank god i spoke to my cousin and he taught me some holistic ways of handling this you get celery you get lemon fucking juice cleanse slowly through diet i realized diet and maybe not eating is maybe gonna cleanse my body and i went through this whole journey looking at different alternative ways of how i could clean my system so my philosophy in the past was hey man you get a little bit of fat go ahead let me run like 20 miles and shit I'll burn it all off and then I come home and eat a churro or, or drink a slurpee let me bring you back to a to an even sadder story. Remember that time when you were a kid and you couldn't eat nothing, so you grew up on a paleo diet? Yeah, I didn't even get to eat normal kid snacks growing up. I grew up on mainly protein, red meat, chicken, fish, and vegetable. Right now, a lot of people do that in like fitness, bodybuilding, and all that stuff because they say carbohydrates is the devil. So I guess me being allergic to a lot of foods, maybe that uh, reason for me not having a birthday cake for my birthday and having a watermelon with candles on it instead was a good thing. I do love watermelon. Anyways guys, so that began my journey on what I have to do to cleanse my body, okay? And I discovered this thing called intermittent fasting. You kinda just don't eat breakfast or whatever. All I'm trying to do 
is try to feel better. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with diet. Another thing is I do want to experiment with cutting out caffeine, sugar, all kinds of sh okay? A lot of things. They suggested that I first try intermittent fasting and see how that works before I go on a full 24 hour fast or 38 hour, 36 hour, 40, whatever. Let's go, we're gonna go hardcore. This is day one. I wanna tell you what I did to prepare for this. All right, for a month straight, I've been intermittent fasting because last year I tried it out and I got this thing called hypoglycemia. It's when your body flips the fuck out because it has no sugar to burn. And if your body is not fat adapted, you might, you might have heard of the keto diet. That's when your body switches to burning the fat for energy. But if it's been used to getting rice balls and sour strips and candy, where's all the sugar? I can't survive. Your body freaks the fuck out, okay? And for a month, this is what I've been doing. Okay, I did an 18 hour fast. I did an 18 hour fast, 20 hour, 19 hour. Today's a 16 hour fast. What I plan to do, I'm gonna go strictly plant-based for the next few days, eat very little. What these other things are, E is I did exercise. S is no sugar and C is no coffee. I'm allowed to have some caffeine, but I've been staying away from it. I did a whole detox. So the goal here is to try and achieve getting used to ketosis. So I know I'm ready because last year I did like a 14 hour fast and got hypoglycemia and I was like, oh, I can't eat, I got anxiety, oh. And now I know this time, Yo, straight up, I've been working out. I think I've been looking kinda good. Like, I'm fucking sure that it looked way better than 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so today is Thursday, we're gonna give it a few days, and on Sunday night, I'm gonna start my fast. So let me snap my fingers and it's gonna turn to Sunday night! Ha! Welcome to Sunday! Right now, I am eating my last supper before I go on my fast. I'm gonna go at least 36 hours, I think. I have a date, my last date with this date. This is day three of my plant-based. Be honest, guys, I'm kinda scared. I never went this far without any food. It's gonna be a crazy journey, guys, but you know what? Let's try something different. By the way, guys, I know you look up to me and you think I'm a role model. I am no way a health professional. I don't wanna get sued if yo dumbass tries to copy me, just don't copy me, okay? For legal reasons and stuff. And if you do it, do it at your own risk. My lawyer told me to say this shit. Okay, you've been warned. I swear to God, I'm gonna be like this dude. All right, without further ado, in 40 minutes, I'm gonna give my life away. So let's start the fast. Good morning, mother people. I pretty much slept for like 12 hours. I actually woke up at eight in the morning. So I gave myself a happy ending and I decided to go back and sleep but my nap turned into a second slumber and that's why i am talking to you as an unproductive man at noon today you ask me how i feel well let me tell you how i feel i feel very hot inside i actually think that my body might be in ketosis i have some ketosis strips and i'm gonna pee on them and we're gonna see what color they turn out hey guys so i just pee peed on this strip right here what color is it uh, low ketones okay and i probably should have done this yesterday but i forgot 150 damn it make up your mind dude i was 160 but as of this morning i'm 159 look who i have over can's gonna be helping me out i'm not eating anything today can i come smell it yeah, i feel bad <laughs> Because I've been smoking some ribeye steak for an hour. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this to you. I got to. Hey, I'm going to... So oh! <laughs> smells amazing. I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm going away. Okay. Time to go back to my fast. Ken, as you have heard, I am on a fast. And um, I think I am right now on hour 20. Have you went that long without food before? No, I haven't. 20 hours? That's a long time, dude. That's... But did it go by very fast? Yeah, but then not today because when you restrict yourself, you get hungry. When I told myself I can't eat, I actually got more hungrier. A mental thing. It's, huh? a men it's totally mental. It's been 21 hours. Ken is having a little lunch here or dinner. <laughs> my first meal, my first time eating. I just have to smell the delicious chicken while, guess what? It's time for me to check if I'm in ketosis. So let's pee on the strip. Okay guys, let's check it out. Which is the color matching? It's pretty ketosis -y. It's been 24 hours since I had any food in here. Freaking hungry, but it's okay. Me and Ken made this video, it's on TikTok. Check it out. Bitcoin stand low, bitch, fuck it up. 
So let's check out what my peepee -pee looks like. Okay, guys, in my opinion, it's pretty purpley. We're in high gear ketosis. I feel cold. I got three layers on and I'm usually not cold. This is why I'm like, this is different. I'm usually walking around here, prancing around in my underwear. Only jo Jonely fans. Thing is, I just want to go to sleep again. I actually feel very energetic. Probably because the adrenaline's saying, eat some food, you damn asshole. I just want to go to sleep because I want tomorrow to come already and I want this thing to be over so I can put a cinnamon roll in my mouth. Oh my God. Okay, Cam was eating here. I smelted his chicken. I said, hmm. I was outside. I saw the grilled meat. I was said, hmm. Why do I have to be tantalized? No. I am a dedicated man and I must do what I can because I am here to do that, you understand? I think I'm just gonna go to sleep, okay? So see you in two seconds. Morning, Mata people. The time is now six in the morning. I have this crazy amount of energy. I just popped open like, bah! feel super refreshed. But let's go check my bookie. Okay, I had to pee on both of these to make sure, but it looks like some high ketones is happening in my system. Okay, it's that wait time, let's see. And the verdict is boom. Okay. So 155, I definitely lost some water weight. It's matcha time. Woo! This is becoming the number one drink for people on fasts. This actually has something called L-theanine inside. It releases the caffeine very slow, so you get this real chill kind of flow. And it's not even that much caffeine, and I already have too much energy, but I love a hot drink in the morning. Look at that fresh green gold. Whoop! Let's go. Mm, mm, matcha. So since I can't work out this morning, I decided why don't I just go outside and take a little walk in some beautiful nature. You see that? People do donuts here. SGV area. You guys know where I'm at. For all of you people in a 86 Corolla, you drifters, you bad drifters. Sometimes you look at this and go, bam. At the end of this river, no, seriously, there's a dam. I'm not saying a bad word. Every time I hear the tranquil sounds of the river, I tell myself I am in the lobby of a massage spa and I'm about to get a really nice massage. One cool thing about coming up to the wilderness early in the morning is it's very quiet and there's nobody but me and people that want to go rum, 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 and do donuts right there. But like today, so peaceful. Come on, top of the world, Mata Parker. Can you believe this is Los Angeles? I bet you can. It's kind of cold in this beautiful wilderness, but I brought my bicicleta, so I might as well go for a ride. Rolling in the wilderness, rolling in the wilderness. I thought it was a little bit chilly. That's snow, baby. Look at what I found. Look at what I found, guys. Forming live from Rome, the Colosseum. Ho, ho, ho. Ancient times, aliens made this so they could manufacture technology for human beings to be able to communicate with the ancient aliens. Just got home and it is our four zero. I got eight more hours till 48 hours. I was originally gonna do 36 hours, but I'm like, why not? So I'm gonna read a couple of things. And the way I like to read is I just read until I am no longer entertained and I take a break, write some notes, get into the next one, write some notes. Let's get the studying. Okay guys, it is the 44th hour. Maybe because I'm starving myself. I'm super hungry, it hit me out of nowhere. For some reason, it's just hitting me really hard. Maybe because Maybe because this boy's eating right now, right in front of me. But I heard that working out is gonna help me burn really good. So let's work out and maybe let's go in that hot tub. Yeah, let's do it. I feel extremely warmed up. So now it's time to jump in the jacuzzi time. It's jacuzzi time. You gotta let me relax. I need to zen myself. Feel good. Da -da 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 -da. Gotta 
Gotta do something faster. Hey, at What's up? Can you do 48 hours with no food? Hell no. <laughs> at 45 hours right now. Wow. Three more. Three more. Da, 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 da. This guy always tries to rescue me in the freaking water. Oh, you're going to jump in the ice cold pool? He's going to do it. Oh, no, never mind. We finally made it, Ryu. It's the last hour. We powered through. We did it. Oh, you're going to leave me hanging like that? It's finally here. Oh, my God. Okay, all the research states that bone broth is how I should break my fast. Fast. I can't even talk anymore, guys. It is steaming hot. Woo! Look at that. I'm supposed to drink this, wait like 30 minutes, and then actually get my meal. But, yo, 48 hours. We did it. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, my God. Okay, I burned too much energy just doing that. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Why does that taste so good? Oh, why did I make it so hot? Guys, this is so crazy. So I am so hungry after just a few sips of this. I don't know. It's like my body's like, what food? I forgot what that was. Definitely lightheaded though. So I, I can see why people were like, you got to take the broth first or you got to do something extremely light to break it. Oh my god! What a mother bullshit! Oh, sizzle, sizzle now! You know the boundary is like the other side, right? You're on the wrong side of the room. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go. Research says that I'm supposed to have grass fed, nice, lean piece. This is a sirloin. And uh, I doused it in olive oil to cook it. And also, um, I overcooked it. I think, oh no, I think it's okay. It's more like a medium to a medium rare. It's more medium. All I did was add some salt. Here we go. Oh. There's never mistakes in steaks. Mmm. Yeah, that's cool. Oh boy. Hey, so what is the verdict? First thing I noticed is I didn't have food cravings, maybe up until hour 44. And when I started thinking about what I'm gonna eat for dinner and all that stuff, that's when all these food dreams came to my mind. Mexican food, Italian food. I was watching people's mukbangs. I was watching so many food things. I was like, why am I torturing myself? And after eating that piece of steak, I thought that I would be okay. But what ended up happening was I wanted dessert. I wanted a churro. I wanted so much more things. And I think just eating led to wanting to eat some more. And obviously that wasn't enough calories, but it did the job and I'm just kind of chill here and let it marinate and I'm gonna go to sleep. But tomorrow though, it's on. For breakfast, it is on, man. I'm gonna go ham healthily. Still, still, I gotta do this for another week. I'm going paleo still for a week and then I'm going back to normal jaws. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want vlogs like this, let me know because I just wanna keep experimenting with different concepts and ideas. And let me know in the comments below if you tried fasting or if you're down to try it or if this video impacted you in any sort of way because first of all, like I said, I don't want you to take any type of advice from me and die because I don't wanna get sued. I'm not telling you to do it or anything like that. But if you wanna discuss about it, yo, be my guest. Also. If you watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate that very much. Leave a thigh, like, thumbs up, like, thank you very much. And also in the description box below, there is my Instagram. You can follow me and DM me and we can be friends and all that good stuff. Till next time, toodaloo, mother people. Goodbye. Oh, it's gonna get so buff today. So, so ripped and shredded, thank you. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday. Chuck E. Cheese. Birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday. Chuck E. Cheese.